Good morning, everybody. Um, welcome to the video. Uh, so behind me here, I have a single wide mobile home. It's about a 14 by 80 dimensional wise. Um, me and my partner are going to be installing a roof today on this single wide. And uh, I'm going to walk you guys through how to do it. Um, I'll show you guys every step. Or I'll try to show you guys every step of the way. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to strip this single wide here with uh, four rows of one by sixes on each side of the roof. I just go ahead and show you guys here. Um, so we got, you know, we got a trailer full of one by sixes here. Um, we're going to fasten it to the joist of this single wide, um, and then we're going to install the metal roof on top of that. Uh, but um, stay tuned guys um, and I'm going to show you guys how we do it. Alright guys, um, so now we're about to lay the 1x6's on our first row boards that is going to be used for the perimeter of the roof here. Um, these 1x6's will also be used to put install a new two inch by two inch piece of drip edge. Um, but uh, stay tuned guys, we'll, we'll knock that out real fast and show you guys how to do it. Okay guys, so I'll just uh, recap here real quick on what we did. Um, I'll show you real fast. So all we did here was put our first set of 1x6s straight up and down the edge of the single wide here. Um, I will be putting three more rows all the way up. You'll have one row that runs at the ridge cap and you'll have uh, two others that are going to be running here in between. Um, but uh, we're just going to speed right through that and install it all for you guys. Um, and um, we'll see you after, after we're finished. So I want to show you guys real fast on where to set these boards at. Um, so just to give you a little bit of insight here, the metal is going to be hanging over the edge of your force of your first board here, about four inches. Um, so we'll be will be approximately four inches over here. Uh, I might I might do it at five inches. Um, yeah, five inches will overshoot that gutter plenty. Um, so right here, I'm going to do a five-inch overhang. 
just because I, I really do want to overshoot that gutter. But yeah, so five inches is going to be plenty here. Um, we're going to have a five inch overhang. So the way that I'm doing my screw line here for you guys is with the five inch overhang, we'll have our first set of screws be set at uh, seven inches right there. Um, the next run of screws is going to be at uh, two foot seven. So with that being said, so with that being said, I want to do my second run of screws on the metal at two foot seven. So it's two, it's every two feet. So we'll have our bottom row of screws at seven inches hitting on the one by set, one by six here. And then, so the next run of boards needs to be set at uh, one foot, uh, one foot. Sorry about that. So the second run of boards is going to start at two foot four, because I'm going to, because it's a one by six. I split it by three inches both ways, and if I do it at two foot four, my screw line is going to hit at two foot seven. Um, so that leaves me plenty of. Uh, Plenty of room three inches to hit the center of that one by six um, so with a four inch overhang on our materials here we'll have a five inch overhang the next set of boards is going to start at two foot four with our uh, screw line hitting at two foot seven um, but i will show you guys when we're done to to give you a better overview Okay guys, so we got our second row of 1x6s laid here. Um, first row is directly against the perimeter of the outside of the single wide. And the second row is a 2 foot 7 on center. Um, now we're going to lay our third row. And we're going to check here on our screw lines to see what we're going to lay that at on center. Particularly on this single wide with a five, five inch overhang, we can see you know second row here at two foot seven on the center. Um, our third one's going to be at four foot seven on center. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to lay our third row of one by sixes at four foot seven on center and uh, get it done. So I have this uh, two by two angle piece of drip edge that's gonna be going 
on the outside perimeter of this metal roof. Uh, it's just a uh, two inch by two inch piece of metal. That's uh, approximately 10 foot long. But um, stay tuned and uh, I'll put it on and show you guys how to do it. Alright, so uh, starting off uh, to put my first piece here, as my for my first starter piece I have to make a little fold at the end here that is going to allow me to wrap it around the side and uh, give it a boxed in appearance. Um, so what I do is I mark it at an inch on both sides, top and bottom make a little folding pad. So all I do is I take my snips, I cut off the top piece, I come in at an angle here from the side, cut this off. Then you have to notch it here at the bottom. Just a little tiny notch is all you need. The reason why I do that notch is because on the inside of this metal there's a little striation here. Uh, you have to cut that for the bend well. But yeah, you end up with this uh, this little one-inch tab here that just folds around the, the end of the wood. Um, but other than that, we're going to put this whole row on the single wide for you guys and uh, recap afterwards. Alright,
Okay guys, so we've uh, finished installing the 2x2 angle drip edge on the outside of the single wide. Um, just to show you guys real fast what it looks like. Um, you can see where there was exposed wood all up and down the uh, single wide. We've installed that new 2x2 angle drip edge. Um, it also fits nicely with the color that's already on this uh, single wide too. A um, little peek from the top here. So um, the uh, the next step to this process in the single wide installation is uh, to prep our metal panels, um, and uh, I'll show you guys how we do that real fast. Um, so my screw line is going to be seven inches on the bottom for every rib. And then my next step up is going to be two foot seven first and third rib and four foot seven first and third rib of each panel. Um, so I'll go ahead and mark those and dent them. And then I'll show you guys uh, what it looks like. So uh, what you guys see me doing here is I'm flushing up the panels. Um, I have to flush up. What you guys see me doing here is I'm flushing up the panels. Um, you have to flush the panels up before you want to make any indentions in the metal because once you put your screw indentions in the metal, you're going to be going through several layers of panels. Um, and even if one of those panels are off, you'll make a mistake and uh, your screw line will be off on the on your panels when you go to install the single wide um, for an example the the top panel might be two foot seven um, but by the fifth one it could be about two foot eight um, and be off an inch um, so what I'm doing here is taking a piece of wood and I'm just flushing these panels up um, uh, very important
All right, so uh, here you can see we've uh, we've hit every rib at the bottom of this panel um, on uh, seven inches, and uh, then we got two foot seven and then four foot seven. Uh, now, something to be said about this panel is that every rib on the bottom uh, will have screws in it, but as you step up to the next row of screws. We only hit the first and uh, third panel um, all the way up. Now, uh, if you live near the coastline or if you live somewhere where there's just an extreme amount of wind 24 seven, uh, I'd recommend uh, doing the screw line every foot. So you'd be like uh, seven inches, one foot seven, uh, two foot seven, uh, and possibly do every, every rib as well. Um, but where we live at, uh, this is more than suitable um, and common practice in this area. So I uh, just wanted to show you guys that real fast. Um, now we're going to move on and uh, show you how to put the panel on. <clears throat>
All right, guys, so you've seen us put all of the panels on the house. Um, the part that I didn't record is I still need to install one piece of rake trim on the side of this house. Um, I'll try to get you guys some footage of me doing that. Um, but I'll show you guys what it looks like up here just real fast. Uh, over here we have a piece of rake trim called a mini corner. It goes on the outside of this panel. <clears throat> um, we fasten it to the side of the roof here. And I have one more to put on the other side of the roof. And then we're going to install foam closures and then the ridge cap and finish sealing it up. But um, I'll try to get you guys some footage real fast to me installing this last uh, piece of brake trim, also known as a mini corner. So like I said, it's, uh, it's just a piece of rake trim. It's about four inches wide. Um, it's 10 foot long. I've notched these ends in about an inch and folded in the end of this thing. Uh, so that way it's closing at the bottom. And now I'm gonna put it on. Okay, so now that I've screwed it in place, I have to cut it at an angle so that it meets up precisely with the other piece um, that I've put back here. Um, so what I'll be using is a Swanson Speed Square to keep a straight line up and down, and I'm gonna cut it and make it come together as one piece.
All right, guys, so that's everything. Um, now me and my buddy are going to pop a chalk line to place our foam closures in this roof, and then we're going to put the ridge cap on. Um, stay tuned for that.
Welcome back to the video. Um, so right now I'm just going to give you guys a brief overlook of the finished product of this single eye that we've just finished. Um, so let's get right on to it. Um, so thank you guys for joining me on the journey here um, on this uh, video. Uh, you know we've gotten all the panels on here. We've got all our side trim installed. Um, and we've got the ridge cap put on here. Um, we've had a few penetrations over here on the side that we had to uh, seal up as well. We got that finished. Um, but that's it, guys. This is the finished product. Again, thank you guys for joining me. Um, Please join me in the next video as I will continue to try and <clears throat> please join me in the next video as I continue to install these roofs for customers. Um, if there's any questions that you guys would like to ask, any comments, please drop them in, in the section below. Um, I appreciate it if you guys would like this video and share it with your friends. Uh, let me know something, you know. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you. Bye bye.